Hi, I'm Alex Mooney, and today I'm going to create some music using AI tools. So what we're going to do first is head out to coproduceroutput.com, which is a free website um, that lets you create short um, e example of music with AI. And we'll get um, in the details later on deeper of what it is exactly. Um, the first thing you see is they ask you to enter a prompt. So if you're familiar with AI, you give it a command, you give it a description of what you want, and uh, the AI will generate the music um, for you. Same thing with a bit like Midjourney for images. Um, you try to get really uh, precise and descriptive with your prompt, and you'll get great results. So what I want right now is distorted bass oops <laughs> distorted bass groovy drums 120 bpm i recommend setting the tempo and the key and let's say a minor let's keep it simple it's just an example and then let's click generate for pack so we just wait and yeah, it's going to generate um, four examples, which we'll see in a moment. A few moments later. Here we have our four packs. Let's listen to them. Pack number one. A loop it's pretty much that is gonna stay like that until the end pack number two so well, that's it pack number three So there you go. And next step, uh, you can download any of them. Um, not really a big fan of, you know, those results, but I like the bass from pack uh, number three. Yeah, that one. So what we're going to do, we're going to download it. A few moments later. So we download. It comes in a zip file, so we'll extract them. So what we have here is simple pack and track stems. So the way it works, you see I got distorted bass and groovy drums from my description. Two folders, so distorted bass. 14 different files and groovy drums 14 again so basically what they do is they create sample packs that's what it is i got two sample packs here it's like let, let's listen to uh, the first bass okay so that's just an example second bass So, okay, what are those? Those are just basically loops, uh, one shots, um, based on what I asked, distorted bass and drums. So they're giving us free samples that we can use. Um, and then, then comes the AI, where you see the second folder track stems. So there's two stems and there's the mix. So the AI, We'll go into the distorted bass folder and pick, you know, one or it all always depends. It could pick a, a few. In this case, let's hear what the AI chose.
it chose this one and for the groovy drum chose th this one so it creates also a mix you get the idea and depending on what you um you you enter and prompt you may have um different um section different folders you can ask for roto tums or the bukas uh bass you can ask for pianos you can ask for strings everything like that you're gonna get more samples and the ai is gonna make a choice um but screw the ai let's let's make our own choice so i have a session here i got all of these right now so i can choose what i want Let's say I want this one. Now let's go with drums. Not really a fan of the drums, but okay. So this is just an example anyways. Just basically drag and drop. And I asked for a 120 and A minor. So that's it. That's, this is what we have. So it, it, it doesn't sit well, but this is just an example of what you can do. Uh, again, uh, it's just, it's basically, it's a sample pack and you have the option of letting the AI choose for you. But, you know, um, I'm going to create a song with that. So, um, could you give me a little moment and uh, I'll use that. Okay, here we are. I used uh, some samples. I gave um, prompts uh, for something industrial, something that would sound uh, like electronic music from the late 90s. I got 41 tracks here. Um, I downloaded about a 1.5 gigabyte worth of samples. And um, let's jump right in. Let's listen to what I came up with, with those samples. It's a, a collage, a montage.
So this is what I came up with. Um, yeah, so 41 tracks. And those samples are almost mix ready. Uh, I use some compression, some EQ moves, a uh, few effects return, stereo imaging, chorus, delay reverb. Uh, I, I like to use uh, sometimes unconventional effects like Go Gojira X. I use them on a few tracks. Um, the wow pedal, 50% mix, to get, um, create a sound an octave above, some phaser. Uh, no EQ. And some reverb with the shimmer. So I use that on a few tracks. And as you can see, I use some sound toys, transient, uh, transient shaper for the drums, um, soothe for um, the main drum tracks, compression, more compression, heat wave, little radiator, and I have a drum bus uh, as well. Um, I'm not going to go through every track one by one. Um, reason being that it's going to be a long, long video. And um, I'm not sure if anyone's really interested in checking all these tracks one by one. And you can do the same. You know, you can just download your own samples and create your own song with that. And um, what I like is it was, it was fun, you know just uh, listening to the samples that I downloaded and picking one, this one, this one, creating this collage or montage with it. And then I had fun mixing, mixing it too. So it's fun to do. It's, it, it's quite um, fast and easy compared to what I usually do. Like the last song that I did, um, um, that's going to be uploaded to this channel is called Struggle and Deliverance. It took me days just to program, to write, then days to mix. and you know, it was a long process. This one, everything was done in an evening. Like seriously, downloading, programming, uh, just sequencing, mixing, exporting, mastering, everything. Um, so it's fast, it's convenient, and these are the results you can get. Um, uh, they say co-producer cool output uh, on the website. They say that, you know, uh, some of those samples are from live musician. And hearing the bass... Uh, on this track and so far uh, I'm inclined of believing that yeah uh, some some samples are from live musician that's all right even though it's AI yeah you know I don't really care about that AI or you know a tool is a tool um, the downside is basically anybody can download the exact same samples that I have and do something similar um, it's it's kind of you know, I'm free to use it as my work. So I don't feel any um, emotional connection to this kind of work. I didn't write the melodies. I didn't write the bass line. I just use loop samples. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's just something that I usually don't do. And it just it feels like, um, again, not saying it's bad. I actually like the results. Um, but I'm kind of having uh, um, a hard time just, you know, kind of claiming it as my work. Like, I'm asking myself, am I going to release this? Or, I mean, you know, I, I like it, but it doesn't feel like one of my songs, like one of my children, you know? And um, again, anybody can get those same samples. I'm sure they have like thousands and thousands of samples, but, you know, it it is what it is. So. Um, I had fun doing it and I mean, why not? I might use it again, uh, here and there as, you know, samples to add different colors, just like you would use any sample packs, um, to enhance a, a song or to create it. And if you want to only use those samples, uh, you don't have to program anything yourself. So, um, I mean, you know, barrier to entry, right? It's like uh, somebody without any really experience can create something cool. And, you know, I don't think it, it'll ever replace um, the art of composing and writing your own stuff, learning, you know, orchestration, learning. You still have to learn that. So you still have to learn mixing, composing, everything. But it's fun. It's fun to have. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one.